Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Power BI on top of your existing Microsoft Excel spreadsheets to create more interactive and graphical representation of the data that can be a lot more meaningful than trying to do traditional pivot tables or pivot charts. So as you can see here, I have a spreadsheet that has columns A through P, typical financial information. In this case, it's units sold by segment, country, product, various columns that you can see. And what I really want to do is use this data to connect it into Power BI. So I'm going to flip over to Power BI. These are all the columns that we just looked at. And I've got different ways that I can build this. Uh, but to start with, I want to have uh, my segment. I want to look at sales. I want to look at my cost of goods sold and profit. So this information is directly taken from the input of that Excel spreadsheet. So now I have a quick summary. I can look at my segment, my sales, cost of goods sold. Now I want to build a uh, profit by segment. So I'm going to pull my segment out and I want to look at my profit. So I'm going to add that. And here I've got a table, but I can just as easily make it into a graph, change the graph size, sort it by profit. And now I've got an interactive graph. I can come down here and turn the data labels on and now I can see how those look. Okay, so I might want to filter this by the date ranges that are on the information. So I'm simply going to pull out my date and then I'm going to change it to a date range filter. And you can see if I change this from September to, let's say we look at January 1st, 2014. So there's my January through December um, information. I can use, use the slider bars to change the information as well. So that, that enables me to slice through the, the data that we had there. Next, I'm going to add in a profit by date. So I want to look at the dates that we have. And then I want to look at profit over time. And you can see here, I've got my date. I've got profit. Um, I can come back in here. I can, again, I can turn on the data labels. But this time, since it's a trend chart, I can actually add a trend line. So I can say, let's add in a trend line that is dashed and we want to make it, let's say some shade of red. And now I can see how I've been trending over time. So all of these graphs that I've created are now interactive. So if I want to click on any information and look at, okay, how did small business impact? You can see my all of my graphs down here show you the percentage of small business as it relates to the total. So in this month, small business contributed a lot in April, uh, and they didn't contribute as much as in March. And this is all easy to get information out of Power BI uh, versus trying to continue to slice through Excel using the existing tools within Excel. Uh, we'll add one more chart on here just to kind of show how by product. So if I pull out my product column, and then again, I look at profit, select that. And this time here, I've got my, my information. I'm gonna sort it again to keep it consistent. I'll turn my data labels on. So now here's just a list of products, right? Uh, Montana, I can click on that. And again, now I can see where did my products get sold between my different government, uh, business segments, small business, how did it impact my overall sales? If I look at, uh, you know, obviously my top selling product is also top selling product for business or government business segment. And down here, I can see that it made up the majority of my December sales, but not a lot between July and September. So this is just a quick way of how you can leverage your existing processes and Excel workbooks by putting Power BI on top of it and creating workbooks that anybody on your team could then visualize and share. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions.